today is our third day yesterday we didn't do really much we just went to mall uh, to like look around it was like really nice mall like i said i didn't make no video and then in the evening we went to old town it was like pretty nice there but it wasn't busy at all so like that's why i didn't make like much video the camera was with me uh we just like went there to flakarika and we ate food and then we left right away so the initial plan for today was actually to go to San Blas, but we are leaving the San Blas trip in the end we're gonna come back to panama city and then we're gonna do the San Blas trip for now we are starting our road trip and i have made like a map and the next stop is Valle de Anton, so Valley of Anton. My friend told me like to go there. It's like a nice place to look around. We're not gonna stay stay like overnight there, but our next stop is Chitre. So maybe in Chitre we're gonna stay one night. So let's start the trip. But it's really, really busy right now. Panama is, it is hot, but like it's not that hot, but it's really, really, really humid. In India, sun, you can literally feel like it's like hitting your skin, like it's really burning your skin. But here sun is not burning the skin, but it's just like way, way, way too much humidity. And it rains like almost every day. So, and the traffic is a lot. Driving is crazy. Same like Mexico. Five minutes later. So the village we are in right now is Coronado. It's like a small village and uh, we are like one hour away from Valle de Anton. So our plan right now, like we already had breakfast this morning, but still like we are feeling a little bit sleepy, especially like Aman who's the driver right now. So we're gonna go and have coffee. It looks like in this town, like it's not raining. Since this morning, it has rained like three times, but the weather is pretty nice. It's really beautiful outside. The wind is so nice because I guess it's, it's a mountain area and it's green everywhere. It's a really small car, but it's really nice. And we're gonna stay on highway. So we actually don't need like any kind of 4x4 or SUV. But it's a small and a nice car. You can see at the back, everything is full. The trunk is full, the back seats are full. So it's only space for me. No space for my hair is. <laughs> <laughs> How was the coffee? It's bien. <laughs> no, the coffee was really good, man. It's a really small coffee shop. Uh, it was a lady from Venezuela living there. That's her. She closed her old coffee shop, opened up another one, and that's the new one. And it was a really small one. The coffee was really good. The menu was like pretty small. It was small and nice. And the views were pretty awesome since you saw like the, all the mountains and the greenery all over. Like I really like it. It literally remind me of my grandparents' house. This was a quick stop. And now towards our first stop, Valle de Anton. Just in case you guys want to know like how dangerous it is. It, it is, it is dangerous like of course to travel like this. But uh, for me, in my case, I kind, I'm not kind, I do look like Latin. Like most of the people tell me because I'm a black hair, brown skin, same as my friend. So of course, like we are not like white people. So most of the time people don't really realize and we don't wear nothing like shiny or fleshy and like so it's just not that hard and the only thing about like traveling in car is like every time you go through a village or a city not not city but like these small villages every time we are going through a village in every like five kilometers a police person is like standing right next to his motorbike so every time somebody's speeding they just like follow them pull them over so we are making sure we are in like speed limit the windows are tinted so like nobody can actually see inside in mexico it's right next to america so that's why like there are people there who speak english but here nobody and right now we are not even in panama city so where we went to cafeteria and like other places people literally cannot you really need to make sure you learn spanish just be careful but uh, i know most of you guys are not going to travel like me but i just like to travel like this i'm gonna meet my friends who live in like a few of the stops that we're gonna make so we're gonna go see them go around they're gonna help us like looking around like take us to tourist places yeah and that's about it So this is like how this mountain looks like start from here there's a bridge here we go around that's the second bridge and then there's like waterfalls and you come back then this is the third bridge you can come back out from here or you can go this way to the fourth bridge they have like a natural pool there that they made and then you come back out come back out here If you can see that bird right now, the name of the bird is Mus Mus Mot Mot. Senor, nombre es Mus Mus Mot 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 Mot. El Auti Mot Mot. 
Rufus. Rufus el oiti mot mot. Rufus mot mot. So right now we are at El Chorro de Macho. This is like a mountain. You're gonna go see a waterfall, Cascada. And they have like many different kind of species of animal. I, I really, really like animals, especially as a kid. We just saw a parrot. So actually it does look like a parrot, but it's not a parrot. And then we see two slots. One was like all the way, like really far. So we used like a telescope. And then I put my camera on top and then we saw like the slot. We saw the other slot it wasn't like that far. So I was able to like zoom. There are many different species of like frogs, hummingbirds. So we just gonna go and see. Let's see, like we've seen some, but they say to actually see those kind of things you really need to have like an eye of a watcher but they do this every day so for them finding it's really easy i'm feeling so good right now this place do deserve see because Cristian Ronaldo scored goal yesterday and this place is really nice. I'm really excited. It says Puenta Mama Chichi. Now Spanish, I thought it's different in Spain and then it's different in Latin America. But no, Spanish is literally different in every country in Latin America. Words, treat words, the way they speak is like different. So sometimes I try to use, I've been to Mexico, so I try to use like Spanish that I learned there, here. And people don't understand those words. So right now it says Puenta Mama Chichi and Chichi. I don't know if they do call it here, but in Mexico, Chichi is Testiri for Chichi. I don't know what it means here, so check this out. The water is really fresh. Of course, like it's a waterfall. You shouldn't be putting sunscreen on you and then going inside the water. Or you shouldn't be using shampoo because it does kill the habitation in the water and around the water. So make sure you don't do it. Respecto. <laughs> but they do have like tours here too they come with you they explain everything and that's like you have to pay 50 dollars just for the guide uh they have zip line here if you want to do zip line that's like more money this is not where we're gonna sleep tonight so our next stop is chitre so let's go before going to chitre we're gonna go and see india de dormida So this right here is India de Dormida. It's basically India is like indigenous people from Panama. And uh, she is like indigenous girl and she's like sleeping there. Dormida is like sleeping. That right there is her like forehead, then nose, then chin. And it comes here, it's like her chest and her stomach. And then it's like sleeping Indian basically. So we just saw India de Dormida but the best way to see like a real good viewpoint where we went was like an okay viewpoint is you have to hike and the hike is way too much and since it's raining it's gonna take more and more longer so easily like three to four hours and then you can easily get injured because it's like slippery all over. I had no plans of like hiking our plan is to go to next city and be there before sunset before it get dark that's about it man like it's, it's it's a really small place another place here is it's a zoo but it's like close at the moment so let's go to next town. Yeah. So we were about to leave this town to go to our next town which is Chitre but we were really hungry since this morning we, the only thing we had was our breakfast that small breakfast and the second thing was that little bread we just ate 
This is a hamburger shop and we're gonna eat hamburger here. It looks so good. The street food in Panama it tastes really good. My mouth is like full of water right now. Money's taking with chicken and I'm taking with carne, so let's try it. I'm pretty excited. And see? Try this hot dog first. I really love hot dogs in Mexico. We ate a few days ago, actually a couple of days ago in Panama City, but I didn't make the video. I put it up in my Panama stories in Instagram, so check it out. Hot dog was really, really good. Now next is the burger. Today we went to La Flaca Rica and it was like $10 for one burger and the burger was smaller than this. I'm pretty sure it's gonna taste better because that was a tourist place. What they do in tourist place, even in India, they try to make it like neutral. You can say like for white people, so they don't put like much spices, like they make it less spicy. I don't know if I told you, but pollo is like chicken and carne is like red meat. So let's try red meat. The one that I ate last night was red meat. Oh, it tastes really good. I really like chicken, like the way they make chicken here, like with different spices. It make it taste like really, really good, but carne is really good also. Hot dog was good, just like any other places we ate, even in like Cancun. Hamburger, carne and pollo was really, really good. And now we order like a quarter pounder chicken with potatoes. So the burgers that we ate last night was $10 for a burger and a little bit of fries with that. And this burger was only $2.50 and it would taste so, so good. And all this much like quarter pounder chicken with potatoes. Uh, it's like six, six potatoes with this and it tastes pretty good. Only cost $3. So $2.50 for the burger, $3 for this potato and half pounder chicken, $1.25 for the hot dog and everything in $9. This is one of the reasons my travels are so cheap. I eat street food. Maybe this is what I'm used to it even like from India. My stomach don't really go bad like because I really love it. I've been eating as a kid like from the streets of India and I'm used to it. This is the last one. Bon appetit. So estas por turista. Si. And noches ahoy. And la gente aquí mismo del pueblo. And noches ahoy es muy ocupada or semana? Eh, fines de semana. O fines de semana. Fines de semana. Es muy, muy, es muy, muy uh, ocupada. Sí. Días de semana poco. La gente aquí mismo. Yeah. Yo, mi, mi amigo, yo sabes, tú tienes muy, muy pasión por comida, calle, por, uh, calle porque uh, por pollo, muy, Gracias. muy delicioso. Thank you. Thank you very Gracias much. Amigo. Para amigo. Yeah. Bye, bye. bye, bye. Siguiente parada, Chitre. Maybe it's not easy to see in the camera, but this road is really, really, really slant. <laughs> it's really slant man and our car does not have enough power in the engine holy shit really slant and zigzags we are really in the middle of nowhere these are very few houses here and uh, I would love to stop and take a really nice video but at the same time I don't want to because it is dangerous. It's muy peligro so I don't want to do it. The pressure change is way too much I can feel in my ear. right now it is about to be like 7 p.m. but it's really really dark and highways have no light e even like the small villages pueblos have like no lights so I was thinking if your car if you get a small car like us and my trunk have two bags and at the back seat right here I have like three bags so if your trunk is full and your back seat is full and you know how it happened in the horror movies like you are going like on highway on a hundred kilometer per hour and a ghost come in front of you you end up hitting the ghost and then the next thing you know the ghost is sitting at the back seat well if your back seat is full she cannot sit modern problems need modern solution <laughs> and just like that 
we are in Chitre downtown. The hotel we are staying right now is Rex Hotel. It's literally in the middle of Chitre downtown. And I guess it was only $44 a night. We are gonna stay like one night in Chitre, but we're gonna wake up tomorrow and see like how it's going to be and maybe we can extend our night, so two nights. But tomorrow we're gonna start pretty early. And this hotel is really old school hotel, really small room. Just look at this. I have like two beds right now. One small one and the other one is a king size bed. And just look at the view. And now let's go downstairs and explore a little bit. Dog. every day the best way of bulking on vacation one us dollars for this hot dog and it comes free with a little cup of fanta this is how you finish your night hot dog with onion with salad on top is chips like spicy chips mm.